Assalamualaikum and good day all. Uh, today I would like to explain about what we will do in tutorial two in this semester. Yeah. Uh, as I investigate uh, from your knowledge in the test uh, and also from the uh, uh, assignment, yeah, maybe uh, next assignment. So what well, I found uh, you very weak in the system of uh, refrigeration system by plotting within P and H, yeah, pressure and enthalpy. So I found some, maybe most of the uh, students uh, still can understand how to plot it within the P, uh, H, this is a really a basic of knowledge in the refrigeration system. You should be uh, expert uh, in the system. So I would like to uh, more uh, detail uh, in this topic uh, because I worry about you uh, still can understand in detail the whole thing. So actually, uh, this system already we. Uh, learn in deep in the uh, fifth laboratory uh, experiment. Uh, yeah. So even though uh, we already learn in this uh, laboratory work, so I would like to uh, more uh, learn about this topic. Yeah. So as we know, the flow of uh, refrigeration is for, from the high to the low, eh? and then the cycle will be uh, written back eh? from low to high, and then high to low again. So this process cannot do by naturally, should be processed by, uh, forced by the device. Eh? So we can uh, do, uh, one cycle by refrigeration system. So you see now, uh, we have four at least component inside of the refrigeration system. So each uh, device have uh, one function to make a one cycle of refrigeration system. So as we know, the we need the medium uh, liquid there. Eh? to transfer the heat inside and to the uh, environment. So in this case, we have two condition environment in indoor condition. We will condition the temperature, right? And to the outside, we will uh, reject the temperature. So what we can get from the basic of refrigeration we can get the COP uh, of uh, refrigerant itself. And in the same time, we have also a uh, heat pump inside. Uh, one of component, uh, as we know, a compressor. We calculate the uh, performance uh, by the uh, QH uh, over to work net. Eh? Okay, the mind. So actually, I would like to explain how to get the data uh, from the experiment in the fifth uh, laboratory work. So as we know, we try to run the uh, experiment and then we collect the data. What we can collect data, uh, pressure uh, initial, uh, as we, uh, we can get from the computer system in the experimental uh, and then uh, P2 and then T1, T2, T4, T3, uh, T7, T8, T9, T10, uh, 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 so from this uh, plotting, uh, sorry, uh, data collected we can plot the pH, yeah, pH condition. So we should be uh, denote 
uh, identify uh, which temperature is from the condenser, which uh, uh, temperature before come to the condenser, and then which temperature consider before to the pump and after the pump. So we have uh, four points uh, to observe. So it should be now uh, the exactly the temperature identification. Yeah? So it, T1 is for what, T2 is for what, T4 is for uh, what uh, position. So we can see here in a, from the uh, computing system in the fifth experimental work. Huh? So we can identify which one the T1, so which one the uh, T2. So from the computing system, T1 is uh, temperature, yes, here, uh, after the pump, correct? Uh, and then, uh, sorry, T1 is before the pump, the heat pump. This one heat pump. Uh, it's mean uh, after, uh, before, uh, before T, before the the pump, and then T two after, after the pump. So it's mean, uh, so temperature should be increased. So T T four is uh, T two is uh, before come to condenser, and then the T four after condenser. So it should be in the five. So this one from this condition, uh, actually this number is not matched eh, within the table uh, in the in, the, in from the uh, uh, computer system. Eh? It's not matched, I know, uh, but I, I just uh, uh, want to the explain what the function of T1 eh, in the computer system. So don't follow the, the number, but the follow the identification of the parameter inside. So from there, we can plot uh, the pH uh, curve. So from this one, we can identify which one the uh, T1, T2, T4, and we uh, close by the uh, T4, T6 eh? here, in this case T6, uh, but uh, actually uh, we can known as uh, T, uh, uh, T7. Eh? So, then we can calculate the COPR and CP, COPH from uh, HP from the formula or as we know the formula I mentioned uh, about the enthalpy eh? should be found the enthalpy so how to define the enthalpy the enthalpy should be uh, mentioned for refrigeration type eh? so what temperature and then we can plot uh, the h enthalpy so from the temperature so it should be mentioned first by temperature so h1 get from the t1 H2 from T2 and H3 from T3 and the H4 for, uh, from the H, uh, T4. So the in this case, H3 and the H4 is equal. So, so we can calculate the COP, both COPR and COPHP. Okay. And then we can plot uh, using the pH uh, curve. So which one the position? from the H. So H1, which one, which one, H1, and then we go to H2, and then the H3 equal to uh, to H4. Okay, you can see, because H is constant. Yeah? So that's why H3 equal to H4. So please check the you learn uh, what tutorial uh, to solve. So I want everyone can answer the question so we can discuss with your friends. So I give you one week yes, to complete, to submit the tutorial task. Please, uh, because this one is I consider as the attendant. 
Yeah, that's all. Uh, presentation for uh, tutorial two. Eh? Please check your uh, you learn to get the question and submit there inside the you learn also. I give you one week. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's all. Uh, Assalamualaikum and good day all.